shameless. David Neville is here. We can do the job. Cool. Uh, hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Nate. Um, I'm a junior, a junior developer at Pink Bell. A year and a half ago, I attended my first SIDJS and I was just getting started in React Development. Since then, I joined ThinkMill as a junior developer and spent my time working in some awesome client projects as well as Keystone. I've learned a lot, a lot in a very short amount of time, but in general, I still consider myself a newbie to JavaScript development. I recently graduated from university for a graphic design degree. For my major project, I designed an app called The Garage. The social network and brand that unites car lovers. The project consisted of a static prototype in Figma and all the branding collateral. I really enjoyed this product, the project. I knew that it was something that I wanted to take further. A couple months ago at ThinkMill, we landed a new client. The project entails working React Native uh, with a GraphQL backend. I knew that I had to spend some time learning React Native so I could work on this project. So I thought that I would do this by building a prototype of the garage. Tonight, I'm going to show you how I build a prototype of my social network using Keystone.js and React Native. Let's, let's do a quick demo. Undo what I did a second ago. Cut the windows. So this is the garage. It's running on my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, it's a React Native app that's connected to a Keystone 5 GraphQL API that's hosted on Heroku on the internet. Um, when you open up the garage, you see there's a timeline, just like every other social media. You can scroll through and see a bunch of posts. I can go into one and see servers working. There we go, it's working, it's great. Uh, I can see the post in more detail with a comment as well. Go to the explore screen where I can see uh, some cool content that might be interesting to me. I can scroll through. Uh, we'll just look for mus muscle cars, for instance. I'm going to link a, a screen with all the muscle cars. It was really cool. And finally, go into calendar and I want to look up something cool to do this weekend. So I scroll through some events and look at uh, Shannon's Nationals. So that's happening this weekend. I can also see more information about that event uh, and then also who's going as well, which is cool. So what's cool is that all of this, uh, all of everything you see here, all the data, is coming from a Keystone 5 API. And what's cool about that is the same events list that you see here is also being rendered on my website in a React website on the, on the web browser, which is really cool. It's the same information, different platforms, you can use it anywhere. Cool, so that's a quick demo of the garage. I'll now go into some code and show you how it all happened. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm big and... Oh, it's huge. Brilliant. Um, cool. So, the, pro the project is organized as a monorepo, uh, which means the Keystone 5 API and the React Native app are all in the same Git repository. That's nice because I can develop both together, and if I'm making a new feature, I can you know, have them all the same commit messages, all that kind of stuff. Um, first, we'll take a look at the Keystone 5 schema. Um, as Jess and Jed said before, the Keystone, the Keystone uses a schema that we define uh, to generate our lists, our admin UI, our queries and mutations. So I'll run you through uh, the, the schema. You've seen a few of these tonight already. Uh, the first one's the obvious one, which is the user. So you have uh, first name, last name, password, avatar. You've also got posts and post comments, and then there's this one here, cars. So I have a make, a model, a badge here, um, and then an owner. So that's another relationship. So the owner can own the car, uh, and then also that car can be part of a car category, which is, if you remember in the demo, we had the list of muscle cars. So all those cars were related to the muscle car car category. Cool, so I can take this schema, run yarn start, and uh, I get my instance of Keystone up and running, which looks something like that, like this. So, Keystone Admin UI. I think you've seen one of these before. Um, I can go into my car list, and the network failed. What was that? 
Local keystone, but remote server. Yeah. Give me one moment to fix this. That's what's called That's helpful. There we are. Send me car photos, yeah. Sorry about that. That's a good fan. Pretty nice. So I have a schema that you saw before, one of these screens somewhere. Have my schema, you run yarn start, and eventually your keystone server runs up. And you have a list of cars. So these are all the cars on my server, which is really cool. And I can go up there and see uh, events and posts and all the different things uh, that are up and running. So I use the admin UI to create some demo content. And now I want to get this data out of keystone and into my app. So in order to do that, we'll use our Keystone lovely little GraphQL playground. And I'm just going to do some live coding because we know that works well. Um, let's go all cars, I'm just go off the top of my head here. Uh, make, model, uh, we'll get the user, but that's a type, so I need to embiggen that. Uh, user will have a name. Thank you. That's in big man as well. It's not user, it's owner. Cool. There we are. So now I have a list of all of my cars in the app, and what's cool about this is I can custom tailor the, uh, the queries exactly how I want them. I get all the data I want, and none that I don't need. Um, I can copy this now into my app. So I'm at a stage now where I can pull this in the app and I can have stuff show up on the screen. So I'll go into my code. Uh, now this is a screen that's in the, in the app, um, the, the car category screen. So remember I typed on muscle cars, it's all listed all the muscle cars. So from Apollo client, uh, we call this query component, which runs a query that I call get cars in category, which uh, I import from another file. Looks like that, looks quite similar to what we looked at a second ago. I'm just going through all the cars uh, where the category is uh, showing an ID that I passed, which is the ID of the muscle car category. Get all that information and I render that into uh, this map. So data the cast on map, and I generate a scroll view with car cards, which is that component that I define. Cool. So as you saw before, look at the messages. That's great. <laughs> Cool. So yeah, as you saw before, the um, 
So a call from that query generates the car cards and they get listed multiple cars, just like so. Cool. So next steps for me, um, so this is looking pretty cool. Now I want to actually have it make it do some mutations, which means allowing users to write post comments and uh, create posts, all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, I was able to rapidly prototype this app uh, using Keystone. Um, now I'm relatively new to JavaScript development, so the key takeaway for all this is nothing is rocket science. Um, it was really easy to build on top of Keystone's fantastic demo projects uh, to get exactly what I needed. If I need to add a new feature, I can just run it locally in my machine while in dev, uh, just tweak the schema, and then push to Heroku and I'm happy. So, I'm just going to get to my slides. Hit all the icons and then eventually it'll work. Cool. So I encourage you all to check out the Keystone website, um, go through the Getting Started Guide and have a play and make your own apps to get it up and running. Um, I'll be around for questions afterwards. You can also get me on Twitter. Um, that's it from me. Thank you very much. Yeah.